Here is uh, Henry Lee with a group of uh, Sumi or Chinese painting artists in, uh, in San Diego, um, called Longshan Group. Yeah, Longshan Group. And uh, this is our last demo. Uh, I, I did two paintings uh, and some other, uh, I call it artist, uh, like uh, uh, teaching samples. Um, so I choose this one as a complete work to, to finish, uh, to, to add the finish touch, you have always, you have to see it uh, mounted. Uh, this was done on single shrine, but it's kind of heavy. Uh, our single shrine is, is uh, almost like a double. Um, but you still have to mount it. So the procedure I'm going to follow today is called method B. Normally, I, uh, I, I mount directly with the silicone paper uh, on back of the painting, and then you can uh, transfer it. Uh, sorry. You can transfer it on, on permanent support. If you have already uh, a support, like uh, this paper I'm going to use is called the backing paper. It doesn't come with the silicone. It's the, uh, a professional grade. Backing paper is 100% cotton. Uh, it's like a double shrine thickness. It has a it, it's rough side, a shiny side. It's, uh, it's good for a scroll, you know. Like a, if you do a scroll, you know, you have to mount two layers as backing paper to, to have. Uh, you know, Can thick. you buy that paper, the backing paper? Yeah, you can buy online. On, on we have two sizes. This is a smaller one. We have a, a larger one. Uh, it's 27. Uh, this one is 19 and a half, but it's it's a it's a, it's a good size for for this painting. It's almost like a uh, quarter of the whole sheet. So I will cut a piece off, just like you know, it comes in a roll. So we cut it off. I think it, I can do it like a fabric. Oh no, <laughs> I have to cut it. You can use a knife, uh, you know, with a, with a, it, this is supposed to be uh, for a frame, not to, doesn't matter, you know, the, you can trim it to, when you frame it. And, uh, so this is the, the procedure. I will mount the silicone film on the support first. Mm -hmm. This is much easier, so there's no, no risk. But still, you know, uh, I have a student, uh, I think uh, he didn't follow this procedure, and uh, when I asked him uh, why he didn't do it, he didn't know there's a method B. <laughs> that's why I, did, I think we should do this here. So although you have uh, maybe did uh, dry mounting before, this is uh, something different. Okay. And you can see how dif di uh, different it oh. is. So I, I turned the uh, iron on already, so just what heat do you have? So, do you, Brigitte, do you know about silicone paper? Do you know what it is? It's a heat, 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 and how hot is the iron? Um, it should be 180 Fahrenheit. Um, I think I put uh, between silk and the wall. wall. Okay, that's um, pretty warm. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty warm. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I want to work faster. You can, you can go lower and then, uh, and then you, have you, have to, yeah, you have to do more strokes. But it's a balance. Uh, again, I, I think I should suggest you to do it uh, with a lower temperature. Mm -hmm. And then you can increase temperature to seal it, to activate to the, the seal. Yeah, you can change it over uh, in, in the process. You can start from lower temperature, just kind of uh, position it. So make sure there's no wrinkle. Like it's not activated yet. You can see bubbles. Then you can really, uh, go higher. You can adjust it. But I think it's pretty hot here. I use the felt today, just the thing. Uh, the thing you don't want any uh, moisture on the back of the backing paper. 
Mm -hmm. I believe it's dry. I should have checked, but you can see if there's a. Yeah. Oh, it, 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 oh I better use the. Think better use the new one. Mm -hmm. so have you ever done mounted to? Um, so that, that's the first mistake I made. Mean, <laughs> if you see this, yeah. it yeah. means mm -hmm. there's, yeah. a, uh, there's a steam. Uh, the table is wet. Yeah. So yeah. There's, a yeah. there's some moisture. There's a piece of paper. There's a piece yeah. something on the side. Yes. But you know, if if something wrong, uh, you don't have to commit to, to it. Yeah. Because there's no painting on it, so we just uh, see. Yeah, see if we can make it flat. Because that's the first uh, lesson mm -hmm. uh, by error. Then by error. So if there's moisture on the felt, um, it, it might create this uh, problem. So that means you 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 can. We have to work harder now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I should have worked harder. Maybe uh, it could be a different. Yeah, it could be another reason because the softness of the. And you need it thicker. It's yeah, you need a uh, firm. Like uh, we use Instead four of layers table. of uh, yeah. denim at home. Right. So right. the. Mm -hmm. It could be thicker. So it's a, it's a really uh, hard to give a standard answer. It, as long as it works, you know, um, the the teacher, my teacher, my. Master, uh, I learned from a mountain shop. She used to use the denim, and then recently she said it works better with the thick, uh, firm but thick felt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I think it it it, it, it <laughs> it's really doesn't matter. But uh, maybe it has to do with it. And on on the soft surface, you see, when I do this, it's better. You have more buffer. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, to, to do if if it's hard to on hard like uh, on table, if, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah you see it's, that that won't really work, right? So uh, you have to find the the you know the right uh, tool for yourself. Uh, okay, it's already you release. So this is the release paper. Mm -hmm. I used to keep it you know like a permanent backing. But it's not supposed to be. Um, I'm not sure this is uh, archival, but this is the film should be archival. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. this release paper is not uh, oh. <laughs> meant to be backing paper. So we oh. use the backing paper that comes in a roll without the silicone, you know, like a thicker uh, cotton paper. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is the, the backing paper. Yeah, so you can use the uh, other paper like a um, watercolor. Closer? Cold paper, yeah, you can use. Uh, the cold press, uh, water you can use paper. rice paper, but it's not heavy cold enough. Press, yeah. I will use just drawing. I use mat board. A mat board, a museum board, or um, multimedia paper, uh, Bristol paper. Foam board is not uh, a good option. It's too slippery. Yeah. So this is this is laminated, so like a, uh, not a film is on the backing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's what I, I need. So yeah, here's the, the, the nice thing. You have a protecting sheet. So uh, we need that to, to do, okay. So I still need this pad on the table because uh, uh, some, I always got uh, customers who ask uh, if I can use the iron board. That would be a little bit too soft and it's not big enough. You mm -hmm. cannot do like a yeah, iron shirt. Uh, another thing is, um, you see the, the painting is smaller, right? Mm -hmm. This is a, a little bit um, a problem if you use a newsprint. What happened is it was thick on the newsprint. Yeah. But this paper yeah. comes with a maxi uh, shiny side. It, it should be okay. <laughs> yeah, we can do with that. Shiny side down? Yeah, we... we yeah. Yeah, otherwise, it will be sandwiched. You, 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 know, you, you, cannot, you can trim it off, but uh, it won't stick on the painting, but it will stick on the extra oh, rim mm -hmm. with, with the adhesive. Yeah, so I don't use, use the shiny yeah, side. You can, you can trim it off. So, um, my advice is you, you use a, a you know, a knife, I think, just trim it off. Uh, let's just do that so we, we can avoid any trouble. Mm -hmm. By doing this, yeah. so we just cut it off. I, I can use, I can have a little bit extra, you know, to work with, but it could be smaller even, because uh, this will go behind the the felt, right? So it's okay to have some uh, 
sword kind of edge. Thank you for putting that. I think uh, I did do the just like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's that should be no problem. So the shiny side facing the painting, mm -hmm. and just um, remember you can you, uh, you should do this. I think uh, sometimes, especially with calligraphy, the ink part you know tend Puck to uh, yeah less yeah. spread. Puck Puck Drinks. Pucker, pucker, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need to spray some water to relax, mm -hmm. relax it. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I'll pull it off the, the, the area. Let me see. Yeah, don't get it on yourself. Yeah, right, that's where you, can you hold it? I'm sorry, I don't want to spray your your face. <laughs> Fine, it's a clean water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to avoid large uh, water drops. Uh, fine, I missed. No, he's, he's doing the front. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's about it. Um, just a little bit, uh, because the painting is quite, quite flat. Uh, you can uh, actually uh, iron the painting first. Mm -hmm. You can use lower temperature, just turn it off. Um, just spray it a little more. Oh, this way, I make a moisture on the, on the back. So, suppose you have wrinkles, you know. So, this is a step. You don't have to do uh, every painting, but uh, if uh, you do this, it, it helps. Because so that is preheat a little bit, so you would reduce the the buckle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Let's uh, align it. And then the top, the 14 feet, thank you. This is the, I think I already have the stain, <laughs> I know that. Just the, <laughs> the, the, if I don't have this uh, on top, it, you can see that I'm painting. So that's yeah, the reason why I use it. You use the iron, always. Um, another thing is you try to make sure that if you use your, yeah, yeah, there's no, no steam. Can you turn it back on again? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think okay. I better just start from lowest temperature so I can make sure it's wrinkle free. So I just use remaining heat basically to kind of. Working from the center out. Yeah, working from the center out to um, loosely mount it. But, you know. If you <coughs> if you use a uh, high temperature right away, there is a risk of uh, uh, creating wrinkles. Oh. Um, mm. So I use lower temperature just to make sure it's even, mm. evenly, evenly heat, and then I increase the temperature to 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 the right temperature. It's not a science. I don't use <laughs> any measurement. Just to, Estimate the between silk and the wall, and I can feel with my left hand how heat it is. Usually, I still can touch it. If you want to touch it, you can feel it. Yeah, you won't. <laughs> but it's quite hot. But uh, you won't. Uh, it won't uh, make you burn. But <laughs> it won't burn you. So it's a lower temperature. Uh, you can once it's finished. If you want it up, doesn't drain any water. Okay. Um, there. Yeah. There's still problem. Like uh, uh, you know, you, you, in the middle, it's kind of scary because we're using um, the iron. You cannot really make it even. Um, so sometimes. The wrinkle is uh, artistic, I say. Yeah. It created the, the movement, you know, yeah. so I can live with that. <laughs> if not, we, we try to eliminate it. So it's, it's always just like a wet mountain, you, you, you have to work with. Uh, 
I can spray some water. Spray some moisture and just keep iron on the wrinkles. Maybe we don't need the water because the, uh, some wrinkle just because you, you didn't iron it uh, evenly. Not, not enough, you know. Just keep iron. Yeah, so the painting color won't turn yellow in the future? Um, that has nothing to do with the, uh, the mounting. The, we had, um, if you go to my Facebook, I published the result uh, for the, the paint, the mm -hmm. color. Of Marie's. Marie's, yeah. Mm -hmm. They put okay. it in sunshine for 96 hours without uh, any change. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. tough mm -hmm. test. Mm -hmm. yeah. Continuous? Continuous, yeah. yeah. So, so like, I have paintings I did, like, I drew them nine years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. The, if you use years. Maurice, yeah. It's about five, after five years, some paint turned yellow or yellow spot. I think mm -hmm. some, 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 uh, some pigments, yeah, yeah, some yeah, pigments, yeah, right. like uh, the uh, vermilion, it tend to yeah. turn black. I, I have old paintings like that. Um, mm. Some paint, some paints uh, tend to change color. Yeah. And I, I think the silicone Red itself is very stable. Uh, it won't turn yellow. I think the, the paper may turn yellow, so I don't use the silicon release paper for, for permanent uh, support, I think. Uh, you should always use the uh, archival support. Okay, I think um, it's, it's a wrinkle free. Yeah. Yeah. So it, that's a minor one. Uh, we can we can deal with that. Yep. And we can yeah. even eliminate that. Try. Did you fire directly on the painting? Yes, let's see. Huh? Would you fire directly on the painting? No, uh, yeah, you can do that. I, if you use uh, oh, okay. paper towel, clean it. I can wait. Yeah, you can, I can do it a little bit. If you have a clean iron. Like a, yeah. if you have he did at the iron. beginning. So this is what I will do. I, I will no, use. I mean at this stage. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll just iron. make sure your iron is... It's uh, not so hot. It's cool. No. A cooler iron is correct, but you can yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can, yeah, you can turn. Cooler iron to do iron. I think the more important is the, is the iron, is yeah, the cleanness. So if you if you don't see any dust, but it's kind of hard to see, you can you can you can do that. It, yeah, you see, when I scratch it, you, you see the the lead. <laughs> So I, I want to show you the <laughs> possibility. You do that, if, there, if there's a wrinkle, the wrinkle becomes dark. Yes, Because right. the charcoal... Oh, no. Can you do the yeah. wrinkle from the back? Um, that's a good question. I, I tend not to do that. Because I don't worry about the, this kind of wrinkle. You won't see it. No, but if it's it on worse. the front, can you work it out mm -hmm. from oh, the yeah, back? Yeah, it, um, if it's showing enough. in the front. Yeah, this is a different wrinkle. This is because the moisture on the, on the felt. The yeah. uh, or, you know, you can... Um, yeah, I don't know what the cause is that, but uh, as long as this side is okay, I'm fine mm -hmm. to... to Crinkle yeah. itself yeah. and make another one. Mm -hmm. You can. Yeah. Okay. You can. You can iron on the side. Yeah, but then you yeah. got one on the front. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then you get one on the front. <laughs> okay. Thank you especially, for your advice. Especially with this kind of. Push something out. Uh, oh yeah, you make a right, you, know, right, you make a reverse right, wrinkle. Right, yeah. exactly. So uh, here is the leave it alone. yeah. I will leave this alone <laughs> because this is the the whole purpose of this support is to make it a flat. Right. Um, so we we already got you accomplished flat. that. Yeah, accomplished right. that. <laughs> so don't worry about uh, that kind of wrinkle. Yeah, yeah. it's on the back. Right. Nobody will see no, it. No, no. Yeah. But if you try to do it on the back, you get that out. You might make it. Yeah. Or a mark, like you said. So, uh, I think it has character when it has a wrinkle, like us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. Uh, uh, yeah, you well put. Um, so, character is like um, always add on to the painting. It's like a, like, like a, a person. Yeah. Like us. It shows the texture of the paper. Um, like a the, texture of us. Yeah. <laughs> It shows the, the quality of the paper, it, 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 so we don't really uh, worry and bothered by that. As long as the, yeah, I think it, 
the that's the original paint. If you, uh, yeah, I can e easily uh, eliminate the wrinkle with uh, Photoshop. Yeah, that's right. But if you have original, you 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 should see that <laughs> that's original. <laughs> Right. It's yeah. character. Yeah. It's and usually it has a reason. It just yeah. go with the flow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.